The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went to his hometown and his disciples accompanied him. With the coming of the Sabbath, he began teaching in the synagogue and most of them were astonished when they heard him. They said, where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been granted him and these miracles that are worked through him? This is the carpenter, surely, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Jude and Simon. His sisters too, are they not here with us? And they would not accept him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is only despised in his own country, among his own relations, and in his own house. And he could work no miracles there. Though he cured a few sick people by laying his hands on them, he was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. They would not accept him. They would not accept Jesus. The readings of today's Mass are all about failure. They remind us that there is a twin aspect to our life. Twins inextricably bound up with one another, failure and success. Or to put it in Christian terms, the cross and the crown. Or even to be more explicit, the success of those who go out to bring the word of God to others, their success and their failure. And so we have the first reading about the prophet Ezekiel. He received the Holy Spirit to enlighten him, to strengthen him, to help him bring the word of God. We too have received the Holy Spirit in baptism and confirmation. We too have the privilege and the duty of bringing the word of God to others. But now God warned the prophet Ezekiel, you must go and preach to a defiant and obstinate people. And I am warning most of you now, you're going to have to bring the word of God to a set of tricky Trinidadians. So remember that success depends both on the prophet who is preaching the word of God and on the people to whom he preaches. You see, God made man with free will. He could seize man as he sees St. Paul to convert him. But generally speaking, he will not let his word penetrate our minds and hearts if we are not ready to receive his word. And there's no point trying that our labors bear fruit if they are not received with faith. It's 20 years ago, I was given little date palms by a parishioner down the islands and I planted them on the road leading up to the chapel. One of them is now about 30 feet high. 
but not a single date on it. Even though I dug around it, I fertilized it. So I reflected and realized the date was a desert palm. So I poured seawater around it. Still nothing. This year we tried seaweed. Still no fruit. So finally I took a cutlass and I had a man-to-man -man talk with the tree. <laughs> and I said, bear fruit or else. <laughs> and still no dates. So a horrible suspicion came into my mind and I googled date palm. And what came up was date palms are dioecious. That means they're like papo trees. One is male and the other female. <laughs> so no matter what I did, it would not bear fruit. Now you might say that was complete failure, but not quite. Date palm is a nice ornamental palm. And furthermore, next to it, there's a younger palm that's growing up. And maybe, just maybe, that might be its mate. <laughs> now, many years ago, a young Muslim came to me, said he was interested in the Catholic faith. I spent many, many months instructing him. And then he said, no, no longer wanted to be a Catholic. Failure. Well, not quite. Because his sister got interested and she has now been baptized. As missionaries of Christ, we are going to have failure. We are going to have success. Look at St. Paul. Today's epistle tells us all about him. He was given the gift of contemplation, a vision of heaven. And then the Lord gave him trials, a thorn in the flesh. We're not sure what it might be, maybe a sickness, maybe concupiscence, maybe a sense of failure. When St. Paul preached, some people accepted his teaching. Some insulted him, some persecuted him. But St. Paul regarded failure as an incentive, a further encouragement to preach and to teach. Failure did not discourage him, he realized his weakness. He went to get the strength of God. And so we have the beautiful phrase, yes, it is well, when I am weak, then I am strong. I am strong with the strength of the crucified Christ. If St. Paul failed, who are we? We are going to have as missionaries failure and success. Let us remember, like John the Baptist, we go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To prepare his ways before him. Maybe we will never see our success. But we have done what the Lord wanted of us. We have prepared the way before him. And therefore, in the beautiful response that we sung, our eyes are on the Lord till he show us his mercy. We look to the Lord, we stay in the Lord, we preach in the Lord. And then we have the greatest of all men, Jesus, 
bringing his word to others? Did he succeed? Jesus preached in his hometown, or better translation, his own country. And we are told that the people would not listen to him. We are told by St. Mark that he could not do work any miracles. And the other evangelist says he did not work other miracles. He was waiting for the faith of the people. And what did the people say? His brothers and sisters are with us and there are no great shakes. What can we expect of him? Well now some of us get confused about these brothers and sisters so let's try to clear that up. 52 years ago I was in Nigeria. I visited a village at the time, the middleweight boxing champion of the world was a Nigerian called Taiga. And when I went to this village, every person I met was either brother or sister to Taiga. I said, well, either Taiga's father had many wives or he was very spunky. <laughs> well, the explanation is simple in Igbo as in the Hebrew. The same word can be used either for brother and sister in the English sense or can be used as cousin in the English sense. And our Holy Church prefers to take it as meaning cousin. So brothers and sisters you are cousins of Christ as well as being brothers and sisters. So don't be upset by this reading in the gospel. And when you hear the word of God, do not do like the Jews look first at the messenger. Look at the message. Do not despise a messenger. Sometimes we have an uneducated person speaking to us through their words and their deeds. Be willing to accept that message of truth and of love. After you look at the message, you could then look at the messenger, but not before. And therefore, today we ask God's forgiveness for the times that we did not accept Jesus. We did not accept him either because we did not accept his message. It was too demanding, it was too challenging to love everyone as he loved us to forgive as he forgives us, to be generous as he was generous. Lord, forgive us when we did not accept you. And secondly, today we thank God for the gift of faith because we need his faith to understand who Jesus is, to understand the fullness of his message to understand how his word is to change our hearts, our minds, and to change the whole world. Lord, we thank you today for the gift of faith. And thirdly, we pray that we may continue to be true apostles of the word of Christ, that like St. Paul, our failures may encourage us all the more to try harder, to work with more devotion, to preach more eloquently, 
to trust all the more in God and not in ourselves. And then finally we are told a prophet is only despised in his own country. Let us reflect on the blessings that the Lord has given our own country. Let us be proud of our countrymen who have done all wonderful things and who are continuing to do wonderful things. Let us be truly proud of them. Don't run them down in your word and in your thoughts. Many, many years ago, I was posting a lot of letters and I was licking the stamps, maybe I shouldn't have. When I licked the stamps, the glue tasted awful and I stooped and my friend with me said, you should have known better than to expect perfection in a thing made in Trinidad. I looked at the head of the sheet on which the stamps were printed. It said, printed in England. <laughs> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.